Hey lovelies and happy new year. If you're new here, hi, my name is Aze and today I invite you to join me as I revive my hair. It has been six weeks to the day that I have moisturized my hair, detangled my hair, literally gave my hair any of the maintenance that it regularly requires so that it doesn't get like this. My hair is forming locks. My hair is matted together. And what better way to introduce the how to take care of 4C natural hair series than with my hair in this state. So yes, this is the first episode in the how to take care of 4C natural hair series where I and Sierra show you all how to take care of kinky, coily hair. And this is all with the intention to grow our hair longer, healthier, thicker, and stronger than it's ever been before. This is what my hair looks like due to the methods I'm showing you in this exact video. Because of this detangling method, I've been able to save tons of hair and reduce my breakage and shedding to nearly zero. This method is what has allowed me to grow my hair to my waist then to my tailbone and now my hair is well on its way to touching my thighs. And speaking of growing our hair longer than it's ever been before, lovelies, if you want to experience accelerated hair growth, thicker hair, and reduced shedding, make sure you shop the Sedaj Naturals all natural hair care line that Sierra and I developed all with the intention to grow our hair longer, healthier, thicker, and stronger. We are changing location. In the last day you will be able to get these products for the foreseeable future is February 29th. Because we do not know how long it will take for us to get settled into our new location, we are letting you know that if you want to have these products on hand for the rest of 2024, you need to grab them now. After just one use, people are reporting 75 to 80 percent less breakage. They're reporting that their hair is softer, more manageable, more shiny, and even their partners are noticing that after they use it just once, that their hair is just radiating differently. Something looks more healthy and more moisturized about it. So if you want to experience a better, stronger, healthier version of your hair all 2024, make sure you shop this Adage Naturals All Natural Hair Care line at justforblackgirls.com slash shop. So, if you like what you're hearing and if you like what you're seeing, do not hesitate to like, comment, subscribe, and smash that bell notification. And without further ado, let's get right into rectifying this situation. It's not going to be aggressive with you. Okay? In this series, we are relearning how to approach our hair. And not only our hair, but our own bodies as black people and how we care for ourselves. We're taught to approach ourselves with brutality, to approach our care with brutality, to approach anything that pertains to our well being with brutality, our skin color. We're, we're taught to hate our skin, hate our hair, hate our bodies, and whenever we have to interact with any of those things, it's always met with, how can I change it? How can I fix it? How can I beat it into submission? But, no, that's not what we do. You want to use hot water because it softens the hair, okay? It will soften your hair up. Now what I'm doing, I'm just rinsing out my bottle because you don't want to use still water, you know, you shouldn't be doing that. But the importance in using hot water, and really how I approach doing my natural hair in general, is how can I soften it? Now, historically, we have relaxers and texturizers to loosen our texture. I'm not talking about loosening our texture or loosening my texture. I'm talking about making the hair 
more manageable. So that way we're not ripping through our curls, ripping through our coils, and therefore causing balding and premature, premature balding and, and, and excessive shedding that's going to keep us from reaching our hair goals. If you want to reach your hair goals in 2024, this is very important. You need to center your routine around softening your hair. Another word for softening is conditioning. You want to condition your hair so that way it is softer and more manageable to deal with. It's going to soften up the knots and tangles. It's going to soften up the matting. It's going to soften up the dirt. So I like to use hot water, not boiling. Because some of y'all faucets out there produces boiling water. I'm not talking about boiling water. But hot to touch, hot enough to get warm on your skin. That is going to soften up all of the things that is making your hair dry and tangled and brittle. I know that was a lot of information, so at this point in the video, I want to let you know that there is a written record of every single tip, trick, and breakdown of the routines in this video on JustForBlackGirls.com. So for my lovelies who need things broken down in written form, I got y'all, and this blog post is live and ready for you to return to when you are ready to implement these tips in your natural hair routine. So. I like to start with the back. So I'm going to go ahead and spray the back of my hair. I already feel my, my hair getting much, much, much softer. Okay? That is step number one. You want to soften your hair. The number one conditioner that's the, mo the most accessible conditioner out there that you have is the water that's coming right out of your faucet, okay? And some lovelies out there, they brought up to me previously, well, hey, what if I can use the water that comes out of my faucet? Great question. If you have water from your faucets that's messed up, you can always substitute with aloe vera water. I love using it. It is literally the basis for one, for our leave-in conditioner from me and Sierra's brand, Sedage Naturals. It's exceptional with moisturizing hair. I still want you to warm it up though because the warmth, the warmth is what's going to help break up those, that, those dirt blocks and those tangles and all of those things. Okay, now you really, when your hair is like this, you really want to saturate it, okay? Now, you want to get it to the, get it to pretty much like one step under just dunking your head in a bowl of warm water. You don't want it to be that. You don't want to be sopping wet, but you want it to be wet, okay? And for all the people who said that my hair is not for sale, tell me my hair is not for sale now. Tell me my hair is not for see now with what I showed y'all at the beginning of the video with what my hair is looking like. My hair is tail bone length. Okay? Yet this is this is where it's at. And it's gonna shrink more as I continue to spray. Now tell me my hair is not for see now. Tell me I'll spray you. I spray you right through the camera. I'm tired of it. I don't understand. I honestly think it's because of my hair's length or because of whatever, but I'm like, isn't that what we're supposed to be debunking in the natural hair community? Debunking, so now I'm spraying water on my hands because I'm about to go in with my hands and start sectioning my hair off to work with. But isn't that what we're supposed to be doing in the natural hair community? Debunking the idea that people with 4C kinky hair can't grow long hair dark skin people can't grow long hair like isn't that the whole point of the natural community or did i miss the memo i don't know but it would it just be screaming anti-blackness to me when people are like oh your hair is not 4c it's 4b it's 4a bro it's 4c my hair is 4c okay so now what you want to do is you want to gently begin to section off your hair. Let me turn the camera around so you can see. Now you want to gently begin 
sectioning off your hair. So, like I said, I like to start with the back. Okay, I like to start with the back. And like I said, my hair is starting to matte and lock up on me. This is not the first time my hair is locked up because, you know, my 4 C hair was left in its two two tone devices for a good amount of time. It will begin to form locks. You know, it's almost like I don't have 4 C hair. But anyway, as you can see, I'm just taking my hand and I'm trying to get a section, but I'm coming to knots like this, okay? See that knot? All right. What you wanna do is A, get your water and spray it. Okay. Now, after you spray it, you don't rip it out. You don't do that. You find the way that your hair is twisting and untwisted, first of all. So, as you can see, my hair is winding this way. So I guess that's counterclockwise. So I'm going to unwind it the other way. First and foremost. And then begin pulling my hair out of that knot. Like that. Okay? There should be no ripping involved. You should not be hearing your hair pop or rip. And just like that, it's detangled. It takes two seconds. Yes, I use my scarf as a scrunchie because who needs a scrunchie when you've got a scarf? So now this is my part. Yes, it's messed up. I'm about to fix this right here. Now tell me my hair is in 4C. It's strung all the way up here to my shoulders and it goes all the way down my back. If that's not shrinkage, but anyway. So now I'm in my part, I'm going to wet this again. You notice I have not used the product at all. It's just water on my hand and I'm already making great progress. Okay, keep wet, wet this again. You want to wet your ends. Okay. You want to work it in. Like so. You want to massage that scalp. I know that scalp is dry. Or at least mine is. <laughs> okay. Now your hair is much softer. It's much softer than it was before, okay? Excuse the redness. I think my camera's picking up on the shade of the shower curtain, so it's making it more red. So let me turn it this way. Okay. You've done all that you'd like. Look, look at how much less my hair like look how much less tangled my hair even looks yes there's still some coils in here that needs to be detangled but we're about to get to that but it already is loosening up significantly so when in doubt grab hot water not boiling wet your hair and watch your watch your hair literally loosen up watch it loosen up okay now I'm going to put this into two. Okay. I'm using the leave-in conditioner from the Say Dodge Naturals Hair Care Line that is specifically formulated to grow your hair. It's all natural. It has aloe and flaxseed in it, which is how it's going to be detangling. It has shea butter. It's infused with rosemary extract, rice extract, peppermint extract, all those things to grow your hair. And 
I love it. It's moisturizing, it's hydrating, it helps with detangle. And it's a two-in-one leave-in conditioner and styling gel. So I'm gonna use it to detangle my hair. But because of the gentle hold that the flaxseed provides, it's also going to style my hair, like if I wanted to do a braid out or something. Right now, I'm just using it for its detangling properties. So, oh, it's a brand new bottle. So, be generous. Your hair won't need it. Whew. I would like to take this time to thank all of the lovelies that shop the Say Dodge Naturals hair care brand. You see that? You see that? You see that? You see that? That is the slip that your hair is gonna have. All natural. No weird preservatives that you can't pronounce no thing that's going to build up on your hair and ruin your hair all natural love it and it smells good so now we're going to go in and begin we're just going to put this all over our hair okay all over it like i said be generous oh yeah After grabbing your leave-in conditioner of choice or simply your conditioner of choice to detangle, you're going to apply it all over the section. Now here's where I begin explaining my finger detangling method. I like to call this the pull apart method. As you see, I have my hands on the ends of my hair and I'm simply pulling my hair apart from itself. Not ripping, not fighting with it, but this is a much gentler approach to combing through extremely, extremely matted, tangled hair. As you saw, I tried to comb my hair with my fingers and typically what I usually do is wherever I feel the knot at, I take my hands and I pull it apart. But I just came across a huge knot and when you are experiencing this, you're experiencing a big old knot, you want to apply that method I showed you earlier in the video to detangle it and it will literally come right out as I'm showing you right now. So that is my finger detangling method and if you prefer to not use your fingers I would recommend you get an extremely wide tooth comb but no brushes, no rat tail combs, no picks, it just it, something that has a lot of space in between the teeth so that way it's gentle on your hair that is the gentlest approach to detangling hair in any state but especially when your hair is extremely extremely dry tangled and matted i repeat this rhythm of trying to comb through the section and then pulling apart the tangle where i find it until the section is completely detangled i know the section is completely detangled when i'm able to comb through it multiple times ends to roots roots to ends without finding any tangles on a good day when i've left my hair out for say a week and then i'm going back in to detangle it and style it this process typically takes me five to seven minutes per section to get it completely detangled but given that i've kept my hair out for six weeks consecutively most weeks without any scarf on my head at night it took me anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes to completely detangle each section. Now, you may be surprised that I said just now that on a good day it takes me anywhere from 5 to 7 minutes to, tang to detangle each section. And that's because my hair remains extremely soft and extremely moisturized from the products I use, specifically the deep conditioning treatment. When I use the deep conditioning treatment, it keeps my hair conditioned. And like we said earlier, conditioned, another word for conditioned is soft and manageable. It keeps my hair soft and manageable for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks after I use it. And you can grab that deep conditioning treatment at sedagenaturals.com or justforblackgirls.com slash shop. And again, if you want a written record of the tips, tricks, and routines that are within this video, you can check out justforblackgirls.com where the blog post version of this video is up right now for you to view for all of the lovelies who need instructions to be broken down in writing I got y'all and you can view the blog post on justforblackgirls.com it literally works so well to detangle I mean look at that from matted to magic 
So as you can see here, it is becoming much easier for me to get through this section and I'm continuing to do the pull apart method. I am now putting my hand at my root as you can see here and wherever my hand is encountering a tangle, that's where I pull it apart. I'm only doing it so close to my roots now because the ends have already been detangled. So when you're doing this method, you want to work your way up to your roots because as I mentioned before, my hair was locking up on me. And if you have 4C hair, type 4 hair, but really 4C, you probably also may have many locks forming at your scalp. And to reduce the pain level that you may typically experience when you are detangling your hair, it is great practice to work your way from your ends to your roots because by the time you get to those mini locks that are forming at your scalp, it will be easy to take them out because the rest of the tangles that are in this section have already been detangled. When it comes time for you to comb them out, detangle them with your fingers or with a comb, you won't be met with any resistance from other tangles further down the hair strands because you've already taken those tangles out. So it's just really a pro tip to always start from your ends and then work your way up. Watch this, y'all. Like, Do y'all seen it? Tell me I'm lying. What, like, why would I ever steer y'all wrong? <laughs> y'all seen it? I don't even have to say anything. Just wanna say, so I'm about to give y'all side by side view, and also just, I mean, come on. You're viewing it. You're viewing it. You're viewing how my cane is gliding to my hair like butter. You're viewing how my hair is shining. It's hydrated, it's moisturized. Just from, just from two things. You're seeing how my hair is detangled, dematted, hydrated, and brought right back to life with two things. Warm water and the two-in-one leave-in conditioner and styling gel from Cedage Naturals. And I know what you might be saying, oh, your hair not matted. It's locking. My roots are locking because of matting. So no, this down here may not be matted, but these roots. Look at those coils and those curls. Bam, still, still. It's been drying a little bit and still butter. Okay, texture shine, baby. And then look at this side. You see it from here, This, but this is the basis. Whatever style you wanna do, this is your prep. Because as you can see, it's like butter. If you wanna to blow dry, obviously I would recommend you doing a clean hair, but if you want it to blow dry, this is the process that I do when I'm about to blow dry my hair. If you wanna do a perm rod set, this is actually an old perm rod set. These are the steps that I took to do that perm rod set. From here, I didn't use no gel because like I said, this is a two-in-one leave-in conditioner and styling gel. I'll put a little bit more gel so it can be more smooth, wrap it up in a perm rod. But for now, like I said, since I'm prepping for a wash day, all I'm gonna do is braid it up. That's all I'm gonna do, braid it up. And that lovelies, is how you bring your 4C hair, you revive it, you rejuvenate it, you feed it, okay? With the aloe vera and the flaxy gel, they have all kinds of antioxidants, nutrients, minerals, fatty acids that are essential for growing your hair, keeping your hair moisturized for long periods of time, and promoting a healthy scalp. Okay, like I said, the two-in-one leave conditioner styling gel also has infused oils with rice in it, with peppermint in it, with rosemary in it. 
it has shea butter in it so it is extremely hydrating and moisturizing by itself this is my go-to because there's no guessing there's no guessing suave was the most affordable and accessible and that still reigns true lovelies for the lovelies that are on a budget and you can't go out and buy high-end hair products suave is always going to do it she's six seven dollars she detangles very well highly moisturizing that still reigns true but this i'm growing my hair to my hips i need every single part of my hair journey to be growing my hair so like i said this has rice extract in it it has peppermint extract in it it has rosemary extract in it, it has shea butter in it it has aloe vera real aloe vera real flaxseed gel that i made in here so that's the reason why i'm going to it suave is the most affordable but this is the most nutritious and this is what is going to take my hair to the next level every single part of when you're growing your hair every single part of your hair care routine needs to be focused on growth from how you moisturize your hair to how you style your hair to how you wash your hair to the masks you do for your hair to the uh types of way that you style your hair whether it's braids or cornrows or if you decide to do box braids every single thing you need to that you use needs to be focused on growth because if you falter in any of those categories that can literally cost you you can be growing your hair you can be have you can have an amazing wash day routine an amazing uh styling routine but if you decide to go to a stylist who braids your hair too tight and now when you go in to take out your braids your hair is coming out at the root all of the work you did for your wash day and your styling routine is gone. So, since I'm growing my hair to my hips, this is what I'm using because Sierra not formulated to be an all natural hair growth promoting, scalp health promoting, all around winter winter chicken dinner. It's amazing for moisturizing, it's amazing for styling, it's amazing for detangling, which was the main reason why we used Suave in the first place. She hits all of those checks and more. Lovelies, if you have made it to the end of this video, make sure you drop a pink heart and show proudly that you are part of the Lovely Squad. Now I'm just going to repeat all of those steps I've already showed you on the rest of my hair. I love you lovelies, if you have any questions, we are more than happy to answer them for you. Make sure you drop them down in the comment section below. And don't forget to check out the other videos we have on the channel showing you how to grow and take care of your beautiful kinky coily texture. I truly hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, lovelies, bye.